So this draft, I'm going to try to show some restraint. Uh, Consul's Lieutenant is the best card in this pack. Why do I always start sorted by color? Oh, yeah, because of dragons. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's even remotely close. I think that Lieutenant is better than Acolyte of Inferno, which was the next best card. Like, just being... Costing two is so huge. Even if it's double white, just... I mean, you... The last draft, you watched that match, right? Where I just die to this card because it just hits once, and then I can't ever block it. Count as one. Um, <clears throat> I shouldn't have to explain too much why a 4-4 lifelink is great, or why a base 3-3 lifelink in a format of 2-2s is great. Um, it is better than the multicolored card because there's no guarantee I will be white-red. Uh, there's a rare missing, so there's no signals. This is just, like, the best card by a significant margin. Uh, Void Mage is also nice, but War Oracle is just absurd. I see no reason to derail the train. There is an uncommon and a common missing. Um, next best card is Disciple, which is probably just worse than a straight up removal spell. Dear Magic Online, please let me make my curve. Please? 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 Thank you. I guess in theory I have like one, two, three, four, five, six cards. What am I hoping to see here? Besides the obvious to open free blade. Someone had some insane deck from their second draft at the GP that was eighteen planes. Uh Shrouding Mist is really good. Like, really, really good. Um, I think it is better than replacement level 2 drop creature. The question in my mind is if it's better than Tower Geist. Uh, I'm willing to be wrong here and take the card that lines up with my first three. Um, I think it's close. Tower Geist is probably a little better. Uh, being a 2-2 two -two for 4 is kind of a problem. Similar to Llanowar Empath. Uh, yep, okay, I should be in blue. Uh, not even a question. Is Disperse better than Fetid Imp? Probably. I do really like a Disperse. <clears throat> There's two tutelage. I've only seen one miscreants, correct? White might be a little bit cut. Uh, could probably easily abandon it for whatever gets passed to me here. Pass a crisis this draft? It's all blurring together. It's probably pretty. a little more important than I'm giving it credit for to note these multicolored uncommons and see if one of them wheels, because, like, knowing if your color combo is open or not is pretty huge. Well, <clears throat> I think I just want to take the Grasp. Ram Roller is another consideration. The 
These are the considerations, really. There's two now. There could be more later. Grasp is just really good. I don't want to... I'm, I'm going to have some self-control. I think that I did not see... I think the key to being a miscreant deck is wheeling the miscreants. Still not a big Ram Roller fan, but... Don't mind a... What are you doing in this pack? Hello there. I haven't seen a single red card. I'm just going to assume that's a leak. I'll take the Cyborg card. Not fight over the Miscreants. It's actually a very reasonable Cyborg card. That is a late read the bones. This card's fine. <clears throat> it's the same as every other 5 drop. White's not horrifically cut. It's just I'm fighting over it a little bit. Flu is open for at least probably like 3 or 4 seats. Uh, yeah, I'll take a sidearm. I always can use a sidearm. Sure, I will move this card probably to my sideboard. This doesn't look like... It is good with the Oracle, but I do have a lot of spells, and it's probably the worst spell that I've taken so far. Worth noting, with three enchantments, there is probably like some backdoor enchantress deck I could move into if I get enough Oromancers and nonsense like that. Um, Brad actually had... Brad Nelson had a uh, pretty sick sealed deck at the GP that involved like Screeching Scab, Oromancer, Sigil of the Empty Throne... Um, where, uh, where'd my mouse go? There you go. Not a big fan of this card. I don't think it does anything. Um, probably not playing that sidearm, but I could always maybe play it. And I can't imagine, like, even if I am the enchantment deck wanting Valor and Akros, unless there is literally a Sigil of the Empty Throne or two involved. Blue did dry up a little fast, but... Uh, I guess it was like pick six that blue dried up, so I'm, I'm okay being there. Um, I think it's between two drop and water courser. It's actually a tight pick. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be the two drop. Water courser is pretty good. What did we say last draft? Hooray! Yeah, it could have been a Ram Roller deck. The white decks actually don't mind having a bunch of artifacts because uh, Bonded Construct is actually an okay white card. And Guardian Automaton is not great, but it's a card. Rune Servitor is always playable. Like, There's just enough random artifacts like Sidearm or whatever. That that Ram Roller might have been better than... What did I take over? Disperse? Ah, I have no regrets. Disperse is pretty good. Splitting these into, like, creature-dependent versus raw interactive. Can't overload. Uh, overload. Overloading is bad. Very bad. I've not seen a miscreants. This probably means the person on my right isn't. You know. It's just two packs. I just get excited. I heard about Ross's deck. I wanted to do it. I could have done it. I could have been that guy. I wheeled a miscreants and couldn't remember if I had seen two or one, so I didn't take it. And then there was one in the next pack, and I was no longer able to be that guy. Ross got to be that guy. Three. Not, not even going to talk. 
this rare is absurd. Just kills all your opponent's stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just very straightforward. That's the card I want. This is a pretty clear Stalwar Aven. Um, I do need some kind of combat trick. I don't. I've I've been trying this. Why am I saying that? I don't need anything of that sort. I need. I don't really need that much. I just need some creatures, really. Use like an ascetic, another three, like a scrappy skin drake. This card is fine. It's playable. You know, you aren't happy to really play it, but if it's your twenty third card, you know, there's worse things to have than a card, a one drop that gets a good late game. I don't know what to take. It's not the fours. Definitely not a four drop. It's between Alhamarit and the Aven. I think it's the Aven given my dearth of early drops. But Alhamarit is really good. Just a big, giant, dumb flyer that you have to rip it out to. What, what are these in the pack for? What is going on here? And I just want to take the other grasp. <sighs> it's that or the scrap skin. I think the scrap skin is a little more replaceable. I think grasp is just absurd when it gets going. Very hard to beat. Can't really afford to take another combat trick. I could, I guess. Uh... A plus would take again. Uh, even though that's this is like a very replaceable five, it can easily go. But getting suppression bonds or grasp is really huge. <clears throat> that said, not having multiple targets for that card. If you have that issue come up, just uh, just be prepared. I played against uh, Stephen Bar or S Stephen Barrios at uh, the last GP, and twice uh, I'll take the miss here. That card just very good. Should not be in the pack anymore. Two of the games, uh, he drew Heart Beast, failed to find with it. And again, against uh, Joshua Layton, he did the same thing. And it was because, like, I think two of the three times he literally drew the Grasp of the Hyromancer from his deck the turn before he cast the Heart Beast. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. They wheeled? I think I want Water Corsair. I think with two Avens, I'd rather have the creature that blocks. Uh, I don't really want Send to Sleep in my three enchantment deck. I'll take Screeching Scab. Uh, again, I mentioned that Oromancer nonsense. Uh, I'd rather hate draft the Enlightened Ascetic that's good against me than take the Mediocre True Draft that I don't want to play. I guess I will KO a Send to Sleep. I don't really want to gain life. This is not necessarily a sidearm deck. Get out, Caterpillar. It might be a sidearm deck. That card has not basic land qualities to it. So I could use <coughs> three more creatures and a removal spell. Like the the best would be like a Topin Freeblade. A Celestial Flare. I'm not dreaming very big. A Tobin Freeblade, a Celestial Flare, a Scrapskin Drake, uh, or a Knight, really either, and then like any other creature. I guess if I could upgrade this Screeching Scab to a playable, that would be nice. There's not a lot of blue in my deck. Though I guess both of the blue creatures from that pack table, so blue's pretty open. Uh, yeah, I'll lead on the Celestial Flare. Not the most exciting first pick in the world, but... Whatever. 
Diversification of tricks with the mist is also important. There was not a card better than Warlord Rogue in that pack for me to audible to, so. Might be a deck that wants an Evolving Wilds. Warlord Rogue and uh, consoles is not necessarily the combo -iest. I'll take this uh, Pump My Team Tactician. Pretty weak pack, it looks like. Uh... Like that, Emperor Tactician is a fine replacement level playable. Four. Four miscreants. Uh, trying to figure out if I want Scab Goliath. Probably do. I probably don't want any of these other cards. Ugh. That card probably means I can't play the sidearm, though. It's another conditional card. Starting to get a feeling that the person on my right took a white rare. First pick pack one. Yes, please. That is perfect. I just need another two. Screeching Scab got a little better with the Goliath. Not really doing anything but the Goliath with it, but... Making my Totem Guide Heartbeats worse. That's what I'm doing with it. <coughs> Splash Spirit's pretty good. I feel like the answer is I don't just mind having three of this card, honestly. I don't want Sigil. I only have three, four enchantments. That's not enough. I think I'm just going to play all three miss just to see if the card is really good. And it's possible that just having three of that card is just really good enough to make it a thing. I think this is a 16 creature deck though, so maybe one gets cut for a creature. I think the second grasp is probably better. Because I like take the card draw spell? I'm not happy about it. The other option is just like KOing a combat trick. But I have the re. Maybe I KO this combat trick, and card draw is fine. I can, in theory, want to sideboard that. Maritime Guard. I will take a Maritime Guard. Because I have a Celestial Flare, is an okay too. Take the renowned creature, but I think that I need to hit my critical number of two drops. <clears throat> Keyword being think. Uh, fine. Is this card good against me? It's not great. Just like trades one for one. Probably just rather sideboard my own negate. Could have had a 3-2 Knight. Did not expect that card to wheel. Probably just cut one of these. Play 16 creatures. 
think Disperse and Flare are both cards that I want more for. The, I want that unique effect more than I want the additional that. Uh, I have two Ascetics. Hate drafting that one's fine. I don't think I have a Dismissal though. And having access to like one counter spell is nice. Uh, Chandra's Fear is actually good. Actually kind of afraid of that card. I'm okay passing the Ascetic. I don't think the person on my left is white. There's no leaks through me because I'm being cut out of white. But Yeah, let's take a counterspell over the third, like fourth worst five drop I could play. <sighs> yeah. In theory, I could like board in a Dreadwater and Dreadwater someone. There is, this was the double tutelage draft, so that is going around somewhere. Nine white, eight blue. It's kind of noteworthy that uh, having a dual land is kind of nice for a lot of these cards. So like enemy color combos are like very, very marginally better because if there is a duel, you're just going to get it. No one's going to, no one's going to fight you. Over like your caves of Colos. This looks good. Simple thirty second deck build complete. <laughs>